Welcome back everyone, my name is Tokriva, this is some more Game Dev Tycoon in which we are going to make our second engine and this one will include 3D graphics. How crazy is that? We actually do get research points in the middle of making an engine, that's correct. Almost forgot that. The sooner we get in on the ground floor of 3D graphics, the better it will be, hopefully. So that's a good thing. Ah, oh, this is taking a while. <laughs> oh, another week off, of course. Oh, invest over 100k in a new game engine. That's cool. Ah. Our engine is now complete, so let's... We actually have exactly enough for sci-fi. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. And we have research sci-fi. And we're going to develop a new game. It's going to be on the second engine. It's going to be... I'm, I'm just a PC guy, you know. It's going to be a sci-fi strategy. It's not going to be the zombie action game, I know. It's going to be a sci-fi strategy for a mature audience. Which is very, very nice. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm just thinking of what to name this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I used this name before in the previous Let's Play, but I'm still going to go with Trek Wars, and it's going to be 3D Graphics. I'm going to go for the 3D here. So, we need engine to be higher. So, better user experience, obviously. There we go. I'm actually getting a decent amount of points. Um, actually, oh, hang on. I'll do it like this. Apparently strategy needs some more level design than AI. Actually, let's do it like this. It's a um, sci-fi game, so we want our sound to be amazing. It's still a low amount of points again. Oh, that's better. Well, we fit, removed all the bugs. Hopefully, we don't get a new one. New topic, new combo. Engine level 3. Eh, still some level 2s, but it's mostly because we haven't been making many RPGs. Okay, let's release it. It's our first 3D game. Open World is available for research. Um, let's research open world at least. First reviews for our game came in. It's a 7. And the 5, what? 6, that's okay. So it's still a 6 on average. It's gonna be a 6 average. Hmm. Still gonna sell some units, but this is the way we need to keep our head above water. It's not gonna last that long. So, generate the game reports. See what else is up. So, this was a strategy game. 
Uh, some research. Okay, sci-fi and strategy, great combination. Dialogue seems to be not important for this type of games. That was to be expected. Okay, I'm just gonna develop our next game. Um, that was that a mature game? I think it was. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do our zombie action game on still on the PC. For everyone and our new engine. So this will be brains. 3D graphics is still a thing. New gaming console in two months. The Vina Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Vina said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Okay, if you say so. Um, engine and then gameplay. Eight eight already. Wow. Um, did we already have something action? We only know that engine is really important. Let's do it like that. A lot of focus on the graphics. Track wars off the market, 204,000 still. Okay, this looks really good. Hope we can get some more design points. Or technology. The Vino Oasis has been released. Or technology, I'm also a fan of that. Finishing it. Brains. New record, though. Gameplay, yes. Story quests, level 3. Dialogue, level 3. Not doing bad at all, it's just... 3D graphics leveled up. Let's release it. Simple cutscenes and better dialogues are now available as well. Our first reviews came in. An eight. And a seven. It's um, a lot of the same. A six. Game Hero again. Seriously. So it's a seven on average in the end. Oh well. Let's do the game report. See if there's anything useful to collect in data. It's actually selling worse than Track Wars was. Great combination. Story quest seems to not be important for action. Good. Okay, so game history. I need to look at my best games. I think Reganomics did the best, right? With uh, its 7.75. Augmented as well. PC, everyone. If we make a government simulation, I don't know if that's a good idea again. We did really well on that one, though. Also did a gay on the Cyberpunk RPG. Just gonna make Reaganomics 2, then. Um, after, actually, maybe a new topic first. Pirates! Hmm. A pirate adventure game. That might work. Let's do some research first. Okay, that's done. Research. Let's just research the game tutorials. Still sold more in a week than we had to pay in a month for our maintenance and stuff. That's good. Research game tutorials. Well, let's develop a new game. So... Military is M++. Let's make a second military action game. 
On the PC. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. Plus plus. But still, it's for mature audiences, so I'm still happy with it. Um, it's a military action game, so we had Ricochet 1, so we're gonna call this Ricochet... Um, another Ricochet. Great combo. Oh, it actually says it here, that's nice. We're gonna keep the 3D graphics, though. So, we know this needs to be all the way up to the top, so... And this needs to be all the way down. Wow. Range is now for the market, 214,000. Yeah, we, we are keeping our head above water, but only barely. Maybe level design is more important for action games. I don't know. Technology is already at 16, though. Actually, sound needs to be higher. Let's do it like this. This is already very promising again. Def a huge technology record, by the way. Design is also very good. I'm finishing another ricochet. We don't get bonus experience because we already did this before. So... And let's release the game. And generate a report. We don't even know the review yet. Well, let's get some really good scores. It's, it's the one. Gonna be there is gonna be nine. It's how the game works. I've never seen a perfect ten. See, it's there's gonna be one nine. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. That's that always happens in this game, but holy shit, we have it. Decrypt that message. Very special offer. Agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, then transfer 49k to the enclosed uplink location and we'll contact you, Agent Blowfish. You've successfully researched history. Administrative expenses. Cult status at a new standard for the early gaming industry. Yes. Holy mother of god, that sold well. Rank 1. Company sales record. Holy shit, this is the one. Um, I'm, I'm gonna stay here for just a little bit longer. Okay, we've got following results. Not at all be important for this type of game. Dialogue, so... But already, it's action, so dialogue is going for minus as well. <sighs> Another ricochet. Chief company sales record with more than 100,000 units. Ah, oh, bask in her glory. Let's do a little bit of contract work then. This should be an easy one. A storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Nardo Ricochet is one of these rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. It seems that can't wait any longer. Entertainment really has made gaming history with another ricochet. Fifteen k <laughs> on top of the three million. Um, let's go with better dialogues. It's still ranked 2 on the charts right now. So it's doing that well. So put the level editor in there too. For when we research a new engine, we have that stuff ready. 402,000 units, generating 2.8 million in sales. And we've done our level editor. We're first going to develop another game. 
I'm very impressed by this. So we're gonna go with a government simulation game that's for mature audiences this time. So this will be um, actually Bushnomics. Because we're now at the start of the 90s, I think. So it's gonna be Bushnomics. It's gonna be in the PC. Plus, 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 all the pluses. Our newest engine, of course. 3D graphics, because why not? Oh, the the and oh the SNES is being announced or the SNES the Super TES yeah greatest console we've ever built fans around the world have been waiting for this moment it seems they will not be disappointed Bushnomics we know gameplay very important um, engine a little bit less wow nine eight now. Dialogue's not important, level design... Yeah, let's do it like this. Lots of balls. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty fine. One bug in that whole development cycle. Holy crap. This super test has been released. It's a very good uh, balance between the two. 22-22. I'm releasing this game. Um, you know what? I am moving. Now that we've actually made the money, I'm moving to the better offices. Um, welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You may now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. Get started, close this match, and click on my character. We're gonna train staff management. Oh, make me think. And our reviews for Bushnomics came in. Could have been better, seriously. Quirky but good. I like it. Oh, game hero. Well, it's a 6 overall, but it could have probably been a lot better. It was our last garage game, so it's okay. Mini boss, level 1, golden chest boss. Funny. You successfully completed your management course and are now able to hire your very first employee. Well, before we do that, I'm actually going to do a... Generate game report on Bushnomics. Because I feel that's more important. Right now. <laughs> Post analysis complete. Dialogue seems to be not important for this type of game. That would be a simulation with dialogue. We already knew that. World design seems to be not very important either. That's a new one. Very good. Um, staff list. Okay, so well, let's let's train a little bit. If you want to create hit games and have a world-class team, then training is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and technology specialist. I'm going to go for the design myself. Meets buzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vani, a company known for general electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. 
Apparently, Vonnie has collaborated with Ninvento, creator of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. So, read the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Vonnie and Ninvento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Ninvento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Ninvento handing much over much of the control to Vonnie. Seems to be the end of the play system. Wishnomics still almost 300,000. Yeah, game death for pirates is game designed for pirates is mostly design. Two months test will be taken off the market already. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.